hello you're welcome how to solve for x in this nice algebra problem yeah let's take 12 to this side then here we have x square minus x cube minus 12 now equals to zero from here and here we can write minus 12 as minus 4 minus 8 then what we have here now we can rewrite it as x square minus x cube minus 4 minus 8 now equals to 0 from here then also here we can write 4 as 2 square or we can write 8 as 2 cube then here we have x square minus x cube now minus 2 square here minus here we have 2 cube now equals to 0 from here then let's group squares together and we have x square minus 2 square here then also we have minus x cube minus 2 cube now equals to 0 from here. Then here we can as well factor minus out here. Then this becomes x square minus 2 square. Then minus into bracket x square s cube plus 2 cube. Now equals to 0 from here. If you are enjoying this class, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe if you are yet to do so. Thank you. And from here, we can group this together as well. Then we apply difference of two square. A square minus B square, same thing as A plus B multiplied by A minus B. And also here we use sum of two cube. We have A cube plus B cube. This is equals to a plus b then multiply by a square minus a b plus b squared then from what we have here we can apply it to this equation here then here we can write this as x plus 2 then multiply by x minus 2 then minus here we apply this and here we have x plus 2 then into bracket x square minus 2 times x that's 2x then plus 2 square which will be 4 now equals to 0 from there then from what we have we have x plus 2 common let's factor it out so we have x plus 2 into bracket here we are left with x minus 2 then here we are left with minus into bracket x square minus 2x plus 4 plus bracket now equals to 0 from here then also when we simplify this bracket minus open the bracket here and this we still have x plus 2 then into bracket here x minus 2 then minus x square plus 2x minus 4 close bracket now equals to 0 from here then we can add the like terms and rearrange and we have x plus 2 now into bracket minus x square then here x plus 2x that gives us 3x then minus 2 minus 4 we have minus 6 close bracket now equals to 0 from here then we have two possible cases the first one we have x plus 2 equals to 0 and the other one we have minus x square plus 3x minus 6 equals to 0 from here 
then on this side taking plus here become minus then we have x equals to minus 2 on this side then also from here we can solve this and multiply here by minus 1 let's clear the minus here then this become plus so we have x square minus 3x then plus 6 here now equals to 0 from here then we can solve this quadratic equation from the quadratic formula here a is 1 b is minus 3 and c equals 6 and applying the quadratic formula here we have this will become x equals to minus minus 3 plus or minus square root of minus 3 squared then minus 4 times 1 times 6 then over 2 times 1 then here this becomes x equals to 3 this will be plus then plus or minus square root of minus 3 square we have 9 then minus 24 here over 2 and here this becomes x equals to 3 plus or minus square root of minus 15 over 2 and which we can also write as x equals to 3 plus or minus root 15 times root minus 1 then over 2 and here root minus 1 is i and we have x equals to 3 plus or minus square root of 15i over 2. And from here, we have two complex solutions from here. So altogether, we have three solutions. The first one, we have x1 equals to minus 2. And we have x2 equals to 3 plus root 15 i over 2 and the third one here we have x3 equals to 3 minus root 15 i over 2 so these are the solutions to this given problem and from here when we check with x equals to minus 2 from what is given we can substitute x equals to minus 2 here then what we have from here when we put s equals to minus 2 it will become minus 2 squared then minus into bracket minus 2 cube is this equals to 12 from here then here minus square will be plus so 2 square here we have 4 then minus minus raised to power 3 is still minus so 3 raised to power 3 that's it that's minus 8 is it equals to 12 then here minus times minus is plus so we have 4 plus 8 now is it equals to 12 then 4 plus 8 is 12 which is equals to 12 now the left hand side equals to the right hand side and hence from here x equals to minus 2 satisfy the given problem you can as well check for the two complex solutions thank you for watching don't forget these steps and subscribe for more videos you can share this video give it a thumbs up and put your comment in the comment section see you next class and bye for now